I'm a sucker for old books. <laughs> but I'm not supposed to buy many because we are living in this van. So today, I'm being really good. I'm not going to the book section. <laughs> there was like a whole room just full of like old books on shelves. And I was like, mom, you probably shouldn't go in there because <laughs> it's full of the old kind of books you like. Yeah, it's the danger zone for sure. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking forward to today. Yeah, it should be fun. Today, May and I are driving into Augusta to do some antiquing, which is just something we love to do together. We are about to cross the river into Georgia. <laughs> We're on the Savannah River going into Augusta. It's pretty. Yeah. All right, we've come to the first place. We'll see what it's like. Something I've realized lately shopping with May is that when she was little and she would say mommy look like sometimes it would be good but sometimes it would just be a little kid noticing something that was like a toy they liked or something but now when she points something out it's often something that I would like or want to notice and want to see and so I'm having to grow with her in that way and adjust how I interact because I used to say oh uh-huh but now I'm realizing okay She's becoming a, a young adult with interesting insights and ideas. Look at that, that's pretty cool. And it's not a thing, imagine Gus wearing that on like one of the many motorcycles that they had. <laughs> I just found something that I love, which is I love wall decor. That reminds me of truth. And this one is hand done. And it's a beautiful verse that I love to have near me. So I'm getting that. It is a beautiful lamp. This place was fun, don't you think? Yes. And we just got kind of like sucked into the coin display. <laughs> there was a lot of coins at this one place. One of them was from 1669. Yeah, that was crazy. And then there was like one coin that was like a, an Isabella coin that was worth $450. So we had fun looking at those. The one that was 1669, it was like almost completely worn away into that. Yeah. It wasn't even round. It had been so used. It's kind of amazing that it still has value. We are at our second stop, but we pulled up behind somebody who apparently was an AT hiker. It's kind of fun. I didn't know there were AT license plates. Yeah, me either. We are in Augusta, Georgia, and you can tell this whole booth is masters. Everything. Golf club bag lamp, a memorabilia, Tiffany bracelet with masters. Goodness. Oh, and you got a good BLT grilled cheese. Yeah. These are awesome. Oh my goodness. I love this. <laughs> just found the cutest little cast iron robot. It's a bank and he feeds himself the coin. So cute. He it's can, like, so clever. Put it on its mouth and then it just, <laughs> even his eyes like <laughs> move. It's so cute. I love it. The store that we went to where yes I bought books of course. <laughs> It's called Mima Had One. That's such a fun name for an antique store because 
whatever you have you think well Mima used to have one just like that <laughs> and we found a lot of good stuff in there yeah. I actually really loved the stained glass window that I saw in there it was so pretty. and if we were in Texas I think I would have bought it because I've been looking for stained glass and that one's so unique it's really pretty but I don't know how I'd get it back and I don't think I want to trust the mail and so it just seems like more hassle than I can figure out here. But if it was in Texas, I would have already bought it. <laughs> I made a list and we have been to three of the seven or eight that I wrote down. So we gotta get on it. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at the circle, like. We're in South Carolina now. Woohoo! This looks promising. Looks great. Whoa. What do you think of that place? It was nice. Yeah. It was a little less antique but I still found some fun stuff. Whoa. 17 records, a Nancy Drew book. What are you planning on doing with the records? Putting them up on my wall and my bedroom for decoration That's and I might lot. paint on some. What are you going to do with them if you paint them? Probably try to sell them. Cool. 